Hey there, friends. Nibs again. Out at the range here. Wanted to do, get out and do a little planking today, a little shooting. And uh, this one here we're going to be taking a look at today is uh, one I picked up over the winter. And I did do a test fire video on it, but I haven't had it out since then to really uh, give it a good shaking down, see what it could do. So I figured I'd get it out today and <clears throat> let you guys get a look at it and maybe see... See if I can figure out what kind of ammo it likes the best and uh, see what we can do with it. So what we have here is a uh, Marlin 2000 L and the L stands for laminated stock. These were made in, so I think if I read this serial number right, the first two numbers are 99. So I believe that might be the year that this was made. So these were made right around the year 2000 from what I've read and uh, so it's not terribly old but it's uh, <clears throat> they are getting up there but uh, we're just going to do a couple of groups here and uh, see what we can do. I have uh, some Lapua Master, uh, this is some older stuff that I've had for a while. Uh, we'll try a group with the Gecko Match. And uh, I do have some Elay Target, and I have some older Elay Target. I don't know if we, uh, we'll get to that, but we'll try a group with the uh, Elay Target first. I do have a camera running downrange. Get out here to get out here to this range, and the wind is blowing like crazy again. I can't believe it. I was I was actually over at the church, which is I don't know, 15, 20 minutes away. Absolutely no wind there. I went to the other range that I go to, but somebody was already there shooting, so I decided not to stick around over there. I went home and did a few things, no wind there. I get over here and the wind's blowing like crazy, so, but I can't win. But uh, we'll go ahead and shoot a couple of groups here and see how this old girl will do. Um, it is a pretty cool rifle, nice heavy profile barrel, just shooting with the peep sights. Um, <clears throat> I did test uh, the trigger. Beforehand, I'll put a picture up here. Uh, I had an average of about a three pound, I think it was three pound seven ounce trigger, which isn't, too, which isn't terrible. I might have to take it apart and play with it a little bit and see if we can get that down a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure what adjustments are available on this guy or not. I haven't really played with it much, but uh, just thought it'd be fun to get a different one out today and, and give it a try. single shot so it does have a uh, rail on the top so if it does prove to you know do pretty good at shooting through these peep sights maybe I'll try mounting some some sort of optic on here see what kind of accuracy you can really squeeze out of this guy Has this? Uh, I don't know if you can see that when I bring it up, but the uh, the bolt handle is just a almost comically large bolt handle. So these again are the the Elay targets, and like I said, I didn't. I took this thing out. I got this over the winter. It was really stinking cold the day I got it. And I took it out and did a couple of groups with it, but but I was pretty sure I wasn't uh, stretching it out to its uh, potential by any stretch. <clears throat> Just doing uh, 25 yards here. That's uh, pretty uh, pretty much. The limitation for me with with peep sights anyway if I ever uh, do mount up an optic on this thing we'll try taking it out 50 yards or 75 yards or something like that Ooh. that's better 
So I had I had six of them. I'm just gonna shoot this last one just to get rid of it. I don't wanna have one bullet left from that box. So Kind of see a hole forming in that one, that one bowl there. So it must be uh, at least some of them are making one ragged hole. But, uh, now we'll try this. Uh, this is the Ge Gecko Match. Gecko is made by the same company that makes RWS. It's very good ammo. Doesn't mean this gonna like it, but all right. So we'll go to the next bowl down below that one. because I always, I always narrow in, down into the uh, bullseye anyway when I do post these up. Here's that big bolt knob, you can see that. But it does make it nice to, nice to throw the action here, so. That sounded uh, markedly hotter than the other ones. <laughs> maybe, maybe I just, just me, I don't know. I do love shooting these guns with the peep sights. My eyes aren't getting any younger and <laughs> it's getting tougher to, to see what I'm doing here with the, uh, through these peep sights. But I used a little bit of my uh, elderly wisdom here and got out when it was still bright enough out that I could actually see what I'm doing. So, all right, so let's try these Lapua Masters. Uh, I think this is actually, yeah, the last five of these rounds I have, I did buy a number of these boxes, but I've managed to shoot them all up. So even if it does do good, it won't do me any good because those are the last ones I had. I guess I could look around and try to find some. Hoping it does prove to shoot well with the Elay target because I got a ton of that. I've got several thousand. Ooh, my, uh, my target's flapping loose. shops was selling that stuff at a pretty good price for for what Elay Target usually goes for it was a really good price they were selling it for and uh, so I uh, would pick up uh, 500 600 rounds a week until they actually ran out and now they're out of it but I've got most of it at my house do one more and then I will I'm gonna go check out that target and bring it back you guys have been seeing it hopefully live here uh, hopefully my camera's 
not malfunctioning down there like it did on me the other day with my my Viral HW660M. That was really kind of disappointing. I may have to uh, may have to do some more filming with that one. Well, you, you'll know I will, but uh, this one might be a good head-to-head -head cha challenger for that one. If I get a good optic on this one and can get some good groups going. But let me go grab that target and uh, we'll talk about it. Well, hey, that's some really good shooting. Uh, I certainly was not expecting it to be that close of a group. Um, the, what was the first one? The Elay Target, I think actually is about the best group. The Lapua may, might be the best one, but I'll have to measure it up. It's about a tie. The, uh, the Gecko Match is uh, definitely a good group. Little little impact shift to the right, kind of kind of puzzling there, but um, that's no big deal. But <clears throat> had one one bullet that was off from the uh, rest of it. But you guys already saw that. But here's the uh, Elay Target, fantastic group. And there's the the Lapua, another fantastic group. But uh, I'd take either, any one of those groups uh, shooting a gun with open sights. You bet. Um, I'm definitely going to have to try to put a uh, mount up a little scope on this guy. I've got a couple of nice ones at home I can stick on here, and uh, then we can do some head-to-head -head challenges with this guy, with the the Virau and a few others. My 52. I bet you this guy'd run with my 52. Just got to work on that trigger a little bit. Just it kind of feels like even without it cocked, the just the return spring is wicked heavy there's got to be an adjustment in there for that but uh, anyway uh, there you have it there's the the Marlin 2000 L some fantastic groups beautiful day uh, other than a little bit of wind there's barely a cloud in the sky I'm talking about some rain coming in later but we'll uh, we'll take it as it comes but uh, this is a fine old shooter well it's not too old but about 22 years, 23 years old maybe, but uh, there you go. Hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll get notified when I do post up new videos. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, uh, what you'd like to see me do head-to-head -head challenges on. Um, you guys seem to really enjoy that, and uh, I enjoy doing them, So, uh, but I'd, I'd like to hear what you guys think uh, we should do. Um, would you like to see me do more uh, peep sights head-to-head -head challenge, more uh, scoped rifles head-to-head -head challenge? Um, if you guys watch my channel at all, you kind of know what I have out there as far as uh, a collection goes. I don't think I've hidden any from you guys so far, but uh, um, oh yeah, that reminds me. Uh, so about four years ago, I did a video on a rifle that I absolutely loved. It was a Mossberg 144 LSA. Um, that one came, it did have the front globe sight, but it didn't have the rear sight. And I mounted a, a real nice Weaver K6 on that thing. And it was, no lie, one of the best shooting guns that I ever shot. Um, I, was, I was playing around with it and I was putting 22 short, empty 22 short hulls 25 yards and I shot nine of them and did not miss one um, <clears throat> but uh, unfortunately that gun ended up being uh, reported as stolen and I had to return it to the shop where I bought it so uh, and uh, that was really kind of disappointing but I got a text from the shop owner today and that gun has uh, been returned and it's free and clear now and uh, I can buy it back and I am going to buy it back. Um, I told them to set it aside for me and uh, so I'll probably have that early next week and be able to uh, do another proper review on that guy. So, And I still have that Weaver K6 probably with the same rings ready to go right back on there too. So uh, that'll be a lot of fun. But anyway, hope you guys liked the video. But until next time, have a great day.